Hey guys, it's Editing Crystal from the future. I just wanted to hop on here and say what's up. Um, I didn't really make an intro to this video because we just got into Jamaica and I started filming right away. So this is a video of our entire trip and experience in Jamaica leading up to the day of our wedding. So everything that we did in Jamaica with all of our excursions and all of the wedding shenanigans are all in this video. Um, it's a long one, so sit back, relax, grab some wine or coffee or whatever you want at this time of the day that you're watching it. I hope you guys love it. I know you won't love it as much of, as the experience itself, but this is just a little uh, segment of what was going on in our lives during this time. I'm so excited to post it and I'm just gonna stop rambling now. Without further ado, here is our Jamaica trip and wedding.
if it's anything you have to read, read it out loud. I gotta read it out loud? Yes. Don't open that first, just read the card. To my one and only son, love moms. Can you, can you yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Read it! Alright, hold on. <laughs> Alright, see though. Congratulations. Son, your day is finally here. I'm so proud of you and your soon to be wife. God has truly answered my prayers for you ever since your birth. I want you to know that your life was an extra special blessing to me after your grandpa passed away when I was only four months pregnant with you. He told me I was pregnant before I knew. He said my hips were spreading. You being born one day after his birthday gave me a reason to live again. I want you to have my dad's ring. Love you, mom. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Sorry I can't be with you today, but no, I am thinking of you. God is good. Enjoy today. Smile cute. I want tons of pics. Thank you, Mom. So I can open it? Oh, yeah, I yeah, can. yeah. No, open it. That's Grandpa's ring? Yep. Hey. Nelson, in just a few hours, we'll be husband and wife. I'm so happy and excited to spend forever with you. I hope you love your gifts, and I will see you at the altar. Ooh. You soon be wife, Kristen. Hey. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man, it's tough. Don't cry, fool. Man. It's a beautiful team, man. <laughs> Okay, them earrings. I want hey, <laughs> Okay, T. I'll yeah, get those for me, bro. I'll put those on for me real quick, man. Read the card. Read the card. Read the card. Read the card. For you, Nasito, on your on your wedding day, love, Dad and Jandy. Uh oh. All right. That's tough. <laughs> Don't look at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Read the card. <laughs> Nothing compares to the joy of seeing a son who's loved so much, marry the love of his life. Mm. Wishing the two of you more dreams to dream, more joy to create, more wonderful love to celebrate. Congratulations, love, Dad and Jimmy. Gotta read all that, champ. Sito, this watch is yours, something borrowed, and on this special day, We wanted you to have something that is very special to us. Go ahead, bro. You got, you got it. it. <laughs> you got, got it. it. Can you get tissue? I'm trying to get tissue, bro. Go ahead. Read that joint. Read that joint, bro. Okay, I can't. Read it, bro. You got it. You got it, bro. I gave this watch to your dad on our wedding day and it represents all the love, happiness and friendship no. and laughter that your dad and I share. We wish all these things and more for you and Crystal mm. as you start your own journey to happily ever after. You oh, yeah, it. Bro. You are your father's son, his firstborn. He loves you more than life itself. He cherishes all the memories, all the time spent together and all the big and small moments in every day since you were born. The bond and love shared between you two is amazing and will only continue to grow and strengthen. As for me, I'm so very thankful and feel so blessed that you are in my life. I love you so very much and have loved watching you grow from a young boy to the man you are today. You are kind, loving, thoughtful, sensitive, lovely, or loyal, funny, 
Dad says, just a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> Strong and have a heart that is as big as your laugh and smile. We are so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. We know that your future is bright and will be filled with all the things you love and wish for most. Then, now, and always, you are heart. You are our heart. We love you, Dad and Zandy. Yeah, so, that's on I'm gonna get the watch. Pop watch. Oh, man. Uh -huh. yeah, that red face. <laughs> I just said big things, man. I <laughs> know, man. Thank you, thank you. It says brother on the front. Brother, I hope you realize how lucky you are to have found a woman who's willing to spend the rest of her life with you. Obviously, she has great taste. Congratulations, Look, Tierra Torres. Brother, I'm so excited for you and this big accomplishment. You are hardworking, reliable, and strong. You have set a great example for your siblings and have showed us what true love is supposed to be like. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there even though I would love to be. I get so emotional when I think about your wedding day. I'm so proud of you. I'm definitely there in spirit. I know your nerves are going to be all over the place and you better cry when you see her coming down that aisle. <laughs> Turn up, big bro. You deserve it. Thank you for taking me in when I needed somewhere to stay. I'll repay you someday. <laughs> I love you so much. Congratulations. Lit Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Something blue? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Turn. <laughs> him, him. Today, groom. Tomorrow, husband. Always our big brother. XO, XO, Tierra, Lisa, and Jordan. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's a little shady. Be my flower girl, Maria. Today, you are young, but the years will pass by and you'll soon be the bride in a blink of an eye. So here is something for the day you will say, I need something old for my wedding day. <laughs> You're making that one <laughs> You're yeah, making I'm everybody. Thank you for being the ideal model of what a true mother and wife looks like. I look up to you so much and have become the woman I am today because of your guidance. I appreciate you and love you more than words can express. I realize more than ever how lucky I am to have you here with me today and always. For <laughs> today a bride, tomorrow a wife, always your daughter and best friend for life. Thank you for being here for me today and always. Forever your little girl. Just I can't see that. <laughs> that says all that I am I owe to you. Eleven eleven. Oh wow. Thank you. <laughs>
may that may not know me, I am Crystal's sister. So I first want to start off by thanking everyone for traveling so far to come celebrate my sister in becoming Mrs. Torres. Yay! Yay. Uh, for those of you that may not know me, I am Crystal's one and only sister. <laughs> and I was given the opportunity to be her maid of honor at the age of one. It was basically my birthright. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. Um, the day my sister met Nelson, I knew something had to be special about him. I say this because for those of you that may not know much about my new brother-in-law, He's a super clingy, super annoying, you know, more of the emotional gushy type. <laughs> okay. Okay. And my sister was Why? not into that Why? at all. <laughs> but through all of that, my sister continued a relationship with him. From that moment, I knew I needed to start Googling maid of honor speeches, preparing for the day that she would ask me to be her maid of honor. But don't worry, Google feed didn't have anything to offer. So this is all from the heart. Okay. <laughs> we. Okay, I'm we. The day finally came, May 17, 2018. Nelson asked my sister to grow old with him and spend eternity together. And can I just say, Nelson, I still hold a grudge to this day. He couldn't wait to propose to my sister. I had to cancel multiple clients all to fit my sister in last minute to fix her six broken nails that were missing, including her ring finger, obviously the most important finger. But don't worry, me being the amazingly talented sister I am, everything came together. And here we are two years later on the Jamaican island celebrating Crystal and Nelson. Yaman! Yeah, Yaman! Yeah, I just want to say to the both of you, congratulations. I truly wish both of you a long marriage together. Although the video games have got to go at some point. I put JK, but I'm not just kidding. I'm serious. I love both of you, and I'm so happy I was able to celebrate this day with the two of you. So everyone, if you can raise your glass, and cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Torres. And now for the speech that's probably going to go on forever. The best man. Hey, you already. Okay. I need, I need participation on this one. Stand up, please. I need y'all to stand in the middle. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Mom and Dad, I need y'all to stand wow. outside of them. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. oh, it's going, hey, hey, man, look. I'm telling you right now, bro. It's about to get real. I'm about to show you how protected you are, bro. Mm. What am I dressed in? Huh? Groomsmen and bridesmaids, can y'all please get around them? In a circle, please. Around them in a circle. Protect, protect what's protected right now. Yes, get around them. And everybody else that traveled eight hours to come witness this, please get around the outer circle right now. Hey. You acting up now. Man, you already know what it is, bro. You already know what it is. Respect. Listen, man. One love, one love. You acting up. Hey. Before it ever come to y'all, it got to come through everything around y'all to get to y'all to separate y'all. I'm going to let you know right now. Everybody around y'all didn't do this because they wanted a vacation. Everybody around y'all wanted to witness this. We all took the vows with y'all. And everything negative, we're canceling it out right now. We want y'all to be together forever. Because that's the foundation laid before you. When her mother and father, everything you witnessed between your moms and pops is canceled out. Because that's what you don't want, bro. I've seen what you went through. You know what I'm saying? So I love both of y'all. And you know how I grilled you the first day because I know what he's been through. The first night I met you, I said, yo, look, I already know what my bro been through. So I love you all the way to the moon and back, just like he loved you. And I expect nothing but the best from both of y'all. I expect you to stand up at all times, bro. You already know how I'm coming with you. You already know how I'm coming with you. I expect OGKP to get on your head whenever you're not right. I expect no, I will. all the people. <laughs>
with you. I expect all the men around you to get on your head when you're not right. But I expect yeah. all the women around you to always speak positivity. Yeah. And always to speak life into your man. Yeah. 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 So I want all the women in here to cancel every doubt she has from here on out. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Man, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I want this to last forever. I didn't come out of here. I'm telling you, bro. You ain't come 10 hours for nothing. For nothing, bro. I seen this from the first day when it was a light breakfast. Remember that? You remember that? From a light breakfast. Okay. So everything around us is protecting y'all right now. So whatever, this is an outlet. All these different angles is an outlet from whatever you feel it. And there's no bias. There's no bias in here. You can go anywhere and talk to any person about your relationship. And they will hold no bias. They will hear you first, but speak life into y'all. Support. And believe that. Believe that. Don't hold no grudge. Every night you go to bed, tell her I love you. Because my uncle told me one thing. He said, you can go to bed one night angry, and you can wake up to cold feet. That means she's gone, bro. So always tell her you love her. Every single night you go to bed, I love you. Because you never know when God going to call her home. Mm -hmm. And you never know when God going to call him home. So no matter what it is that holds dear to your heart, tell your husband, I love you, husband. Because you don't know when God is going to call either one of you home. So cherish every moment, even until this moment. Every moment is beautiful. And keep that in your heart. That's it. All right, oh, boy. I don't have much, but I'll just give a little bit, you know. The key. The key to a long-lasting marriage, you have to be kind, loving, and level-headed like myself. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you do all those things, Here you go. you be all right. Here you go. Talk your shit. Nelson, I'm giving up my first daughter to you. Uh, and Nelson, I don't have a son, but uh, now I do. Yeah, yeah. Much love, much respect. I love you guys. You know, I'm always here for you. Come on, man. Yeah. 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 To Crystal and Nelson, and I will say, my new parents, because you guys have adopted me, you guys have made me feel like family, because obviously I'm not from here, but you've always been someone I looked up to. <laughs> but I want, to say, I want you to know that I love you unconditionally, and I love Nelson just like a brother. And you guys have taken me in and made me, made me feel like I am <laughs> literally a part of your family. And I appreciate you guys, but I wish you nothing but happiness. I've been married for, what, seven years? I've been through this, done that. But, as T said himself, do never, never go to bed mad at each other. Please wake up every morning thankful for each other, knowing that at the end of the day, you still have one another. So I love you both, and congratulations. Yay! Yay. I, I was just gonna say I'm Auntie Veronica. <laughs> My husband and Keith have been friends since they were in kindergarten. That's right. We've watched um, we've watched Crystal since she was in here and come ah. into the world and watch you grow up into such a beautiful young lady. As beautiful as you are inside, baby. You're outside. It. The, you're the whole package. Yay. Nelson. Take good care of our girl, okay? And I speak on behalf of both of us when I tell you that if you got, and like I, like your friend said, like I told you guys the other day, anybody that is here, every marriage goes through rough times, but you always have all these people you can turn to, okay? Not every day is gonna be roses, but we are all here for you when it's not, okay? Because it takes a hundred and a hundred percent, okay, from each of you. We love you guys and congratulations. Those that may not know me, I'm Uncle Rick. Uncle Rick! <laughs> and at my daughter's wedding, Keith said he was the black sheep of the family, but I'm the black sheep of the family. <laughs> hey, Rick, go ahead. I just want to say I'm so happy for you guys. Crystal, I've seen you grow up. Everything you've done has been successful. You wanted to play volleyball, you're great at it. You want to run a salon, you're great at it. So that's what I expect from you in your marriage. I know if you put into it what you've always put into it, 
That's what's right going to come out of it. Uh -huh. right. And Nelson, uh, you already know what I expect out of you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I just want to say to everybody that we love you. We, we have an open door policy. You know we've had our highs and lows. So if there's something you guys need to talk about, the door is always open. Love you guys. Hi. I'm Uncle Dave. Yes, I'm the greatest sir. white boy of the family. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nelson knows that. He's witnessed some things that we have uh, shared. <laughs> shared. But uh, Nelson, I'm going to start with you, man. So when I met you, what, seven, uh, whatever many years ago, it's been, it's been long, it's been, been a long time. Um, he was around for about a year and then I found out that I went to school with his father. And, you know, I knew right then and there that this guy was special, that he belonged in our family. And so, you know, he says he's a level-headed one. No, he's a hot-headed one. Already. I'm the level-headed one. You already know. So, but you know what we expect of you. You've been through the gauntlet. You've been through all her uncles. You, you got Jeff, you got Rick, you have me. You know, you've been through the gauntlet. You work with those dudes, they stay on top of your head, and we will always stay on top of your head. So you got to be right, and we expect it. Crystal, well, baby. I knew you, you were still shitting green. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby all the way up, and you've been very successful throughout your whole life. And that's what I expect of this marriage, to be successful. Yes, sir. Okay? So, like everybody says, love, you know, honor each other, cherish each other, and, and you know, like everybody says, if, if you have issues, you have a bunch of people to go to. T, T said it, you know, you got a lot of outlets. So congratulations, and I wish you the best, and can't wait for all the family functions. But I just want to say congratulations, and you know, me, Crystal, and Rocky grew up literally in summers. My mom used to babysit us when we were younger, when Crystal, we used to play Fear Factor, and she used to make me and Rocky eat ants. And we're all about it. We're like, okay, that's fine. Um, but I just... You know, Nelson, you have been a big brother to me. Um, I come to you and, you know, with relationship stuff, and you have been so supportive, and I'm so happy for you both. Crystal, you're like my big sister because I'm the only child, <laughs> and I go to you too, and I'm so happy for you guys. And you've shown me what true love looks like, and I can't wait to spare have this special day with my one true love. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go, man. So, congratulations, and we're in Jamaica, oh. so let's turn it up. Yeah! Get your hand off your head. I'm about to tell you something for real. Hey, look, I love both of y'all. On the real talk, I'm going to tell y'all just like this. To make this last, this is your best friend. That's it. Before y'all could be anything, before y'all could be any, before y'all could be husband and wife, y'all have to be in a relationship, and that relationship is best friends. Yes, sir. This is your best friend. Uh huh. You want to make sure that you always keep that. That's gonna last. Think about it. When you get in the argument or anything with your friends or anything that happened, you know y'all get mad at each other. Shit happened, but y'all always come back together, and that's how it's gonna be with your wife. This is gonna be your best friend. No matter what. And you make sure you keep that. There's going to be shit y'all don't agree on. There's going to be shit that y'all do agree on. But I think at the end of the day, we're going to come back together. And it's always going to be that. You just make sure that you keep your best friend first. Before anything. And I'm going to keep it simple. That's all. And I love both of y'all. And y'all make sure that before anything, the relationship that y'all keep is best friends. Y'all stay together forever. All right? All right.